I'm speaking with Olivia Dotel, Director of Mobile TV at Orange Group, and Brendan Mills, General Manager, Mobile Business Unit for RGB Networks. Hello both of you. Hello. Hi. Um, Olivia, Orange obviously pioneered mobile TV and the whole three screen experience in many ways. And I just wonder, is it proving to be a real product or service differentiator for you? Well, it has indeed. Uh, we have positioned ourselves uh, really through triple play offers and three screens because we believed it was a way to increase the value proposition to customers. So, as an example, we launched uh, an offer called Orange Cinema Series, uh, and for 12 euros, customers can access to five live channels and catch up contents over five screens of their choice. Could be uh, two TVs, uh, one PC, and and, uh, and three mobile devices. And is it proving to be a way to um, retain the customers you have, or are you actually winning new customers? Do you have evidence of people coming to Orange because of what you're doing? Well, we have evidence of people coming uh, for that. I mean, it's it's something that uh, comes into habits right now. I think the young generation is is used to the multiple devices consumption for music and now it comes to video. Um, mobile TV is some, somehow a little different. It has its own consumption patterns uh, aside of it. And, and mobile TV is really something for hot live events. It's basically don't miss the unmissable uh, wherever you don't have a fixed screen around. Okay, I mean, Brendan, in um, the sort of world generally, not just necessarily Orange, is the key to deliver the same content on all screens, or are operators you're talking to looking at having complementary content on different screens and a different experience? We see they want to homogenize the whole service onto three screens, and we see this as a natural extension to IPTV at this point. Um, IPTV is now established in, in most of the world, and now the next step is to start simulcasting and offering video-on-demand capabilities of that IPTV service to these additional screens. So it's really the on-demand side of it, or do they want the live as well? We think it's both. Right now it's starting typically with on-demand, and then it merges into live later as a second phase. So most of these start with, with VOD offerings, and then they come with a live later. Uh, but uh, it, it's, it's going to be necessary for any um, service provider to have a three-screen story. Uh, to compete with the over-the-top solutions that are that are coming out today, and it's uh, it's going to be a, a table stakes for for any carrier. And is there a particular order that they want to do this? Is there a priority for online and then mobile, or does it vary? It varies. We see uh, desktop uh, first, and sometimes we see mobile first. Uh, in the mobile side, obviously, the iPhone and the iPad are the the typical two first devices to to try to address on a mobile uh, a mobile phone. Okay, and without going into too much detail, what are the key technical challenges in terms of delivering a sort of rationalized three-screen experience? Sure. Right now, uh, the most important thing is, is to uh, uh, handle the, the video quality uh, across these three screens. And uh, a new technology that's emerged in the last year is adaptive delivery or adaptive streaming. So a lot of the carriers right now are um, uh, toying with and, 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 and trying to deploy these adaptive streaming capabilities, such as the Apple uh, HTTP live streaming. And this, uh, this technology allows the carrier to have a very high quality, very high customer experience uh, over varying you know, bandwidths of, of devices. Um, and this is something that's, that's becoming a, a large issue and is very important to carriers right now from, from our perspective. Okay, and from your experience in the field, is, is video quality a differentiator from other mobile or three screen services? It's key. Uh, it's the first criteria that comes out of uh, customer um, surveys. Uh, people expect uh, a similar quality of service than what they have at home on their TV screen. Uh, so we need to deliver uh, the best quality of service as possible, whatever the network, whether it's 3G, whether it's Wi-Fi, um, so it is really coming up uh, first. So are people becoming intolerant on buffering, for example? Are they, if they see buffering now, are they getting annoyed with that? They do get annoyed with that, but they do get annoyed even more when uh, they see uh, little uh, scratches, when the service stops, uh, or when they want to consume a, a, you know, a live event and, and they can't access the service. So it's really important that we provide a, a better and better service always. And is um, using Wi-Fi hotspots part of the answer for the, the quality of what you can give people? Do you do that? 
Hotspot, uh, probably not, but home getaways and Wi-Fi at home, yes, because we see uh, almost half of the consumption uh, on mobile TV uh, happening at home. So the mobile is almost like a second screen uh, because the, the, the TV screen is uh, busy and uh, someone uh, of, of the household is watching another program. So I can watch my own personal content in my room or in another room. So people are really treating it as the, the traditional TV experience but just on a smaller screen? Absolutely. absolutely. Okay. And Brendan, is that the, um, the sort of the feedback you get from operators that they want the mobile experience to be that complementary in-home device if, if necessary? Absolutely. And they expect the same kind of features that they do on their IPTV service such as DVR capabilities and lookback capabilities. So they want the, you know, the ability to start a video on demand movie on the TV and then when they need to leave and go to the grocery store they want to be able to see it in the car uh, where they stop the video on the way to the grocery store. So it's imperative that you can extend the feature set of the IPTV and experience across these three screens and it's, uh, it's key to differentiating uh, the carriers from these over the top services which are, are typically low quality and uh, best effort. Uh, where the carrier can really create this integrated, high-quality experience for the consumer. Okay, so that's the trick for the carrier, is to have that TV that can then shift experience, which nobody else can do. Yes, yes, and to, to bundle it all into a package that's seamless, uh, whether they're watching the TV or whether they're watching it on a mobile device, it's, it's a similar experience, a similar features. We've heard about this sort of session shifting for some time. Is it actually doable now? Yes, yes, absolutely, and I know that Orange is, is doing it now as well, is that correct? Um, indeed, indeed, we're doing it. I don't think this is uh, the, the most valuable feature uh, to customers, but I, I agree 100% uh, with what you said. They are expecting similar features mm -hmm. uh, on their mobile or on, on their tablet uh, than what they have on, on IPTV. And the big challenge for us is actually content rights. Uh, so if we speak of the future, the, the future, um, the issue we have is uh, traditionally we were negotiating slice by slice TV rights or content rights for IPTV, for mobile, for PC separately. So the issue we have now is to negotiate all of that in, in a bundle package and in you know, an you know, interesting and, and profitable manner as well. Uh, because at the end of the day, I think what counts is the um, the, the, the personality of the customer. It's either the customer or the, or the household and we need to deliver this content to one customer and so that he can consume uh, his contents on his personal devices. So that's, that's really our challenge at the moment. And in terms of rights, how long will it be before all content is available on mobile or online? Because I know some is obviously and rights issues do restrict it today, but do you think we'll reach a point where everything on television can be sent to the other screens? I think it, it, it will come quick. Uh, one of the issues were, was content protection either in streaming or uh, via download. Uh, down uh, and now we have solutions to actually overcome uh, those issues and I think to re-ensure uh, content owners that we are able to protect their content. Okay, and Brendan, just finally, do you think the sort of rationalisation with the unified head end is the real game changer for the three screen experience so the costs can come down to a point where maybe you can give away some of the content? Um, yeah, it, it, you know, several years ago, mobile and desktop and video were very distinct markets with very distinct technologies. And today, you see a very similar network across all three screens. And that's been the key, is to develop uh, IP network systems that are deployed across these three, three screens, which are very similar. And that is enabling the cost to come down and uh, the integration and the, the, the similarity between the feature sets between all three screens to happen. Well, I guess the last question really then is, um, is this something that you can monetize or that you are monetizing or do you see it primarily as a loyalty and um, sort of churn buster to have it across three screens? I really see it, see it as a loyalty and churn buster at the moment. Uh, really, uh, it's, it's the value that we can bring compared to a cable, uh, a cable operator or an over-the-top uh, player. So uh, this is, I think, good value but difficult to monetize in itself. We could probably monetize it for uh, VOD contents. You know, we could imagine that for one screen you pay X amount of money and for three screen you pay X plus something. But this is still to be investigated. 
Okay, and the, the companies you talk to, do they expect to have a, a sort of a revenue difference that you can point to once they deploy three screen, or are they, are they happy to? Look I, at it? I agree with OVA. It's, it's I think OLT number one part of the bundling strategy and offering a differentiated service. Uh, in, in a lot of cases, you can offer a small monthly fee for extending your screen to mobile and desktop. I think over the long term, though, that that becomes all one service, and it really becomes a a key feature for any carrier to offer the three screens. It's it's not something you can you can have a service without, and I think that's that's where it's going to. So this is the benchmark for the future. That's the, the, to get into the game, that's what you have to have, or to be in the game. That's what we believe. Yes. Okay, all right. Well, thank you both of you very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.